All right, so what is up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a bottom navigation bar and how to do it with more than just three items. So of course, I'm also going to show you how to customize it. For me, I thought this looked the best, so I kept it with blue and black. But uh, when you click on the icons, it will change the text in the center. So essentially you can change pages as well. And every time you click on it, it has a very nice small animation with the text at the bottom. So yeah, that's essentially it. And we will be doing this with a fresh new project. So just go ahead and create a new file. So we're gonna go new Flutter project. We're gonna pick Flutter application. We're gonna call this Flutter app nav bar tutorial, I guess, and uh, keep everything else as is. Make sure to specify your Flutter SDK path and then click on next. Then you have your package name, of course, and we want to include Kotlin support and Swift support and click on finish. All right, what you should end up with when you start a new project is all of this boilerplate text, which helps you with getting started in Flutter. And we're just gonna delete everything down here. So you should only have this part right here that says import the package of Flutter and the void main that runs our app. Then we're gonna go right below and recreate the class my app so we get rid of that error and that's going to extend stateless widget make a pair of curly brackets and we want to create the override that returns the now we can delete what's inside here because inside here we want to return a material app and this material app needs a title so we're going to give it a title which is going to be random title you can put whatever you want there and we need to specify a home page, which is going to be called my home page. And we will create that in just a moment. Then remember to add a semicolon here so we get rid of the error. And that will take care of this class right here. Then right below that, we need to go ahead and create this home page. So we're gonna go ahead and type in class my home page, which extends stateful widget. Then we need to open up a pair of curly brackets. We're gonna call my home page. And inside here, we're going to insert a key. So key, key. Then we're gonna add this colon and we're gonna write super key and key. Then we're gonna go ahead and hover over my home page and create the one missing override. And the first thing we have to do here is get rid of this part right here. And we need to replace that with my home page state. And we can also get rid of all of this and just add this arrow, which means it's a single line statement and my home page state. Then we're gonna go ahead and create a class below, which is going to be my home page state. And that's going to extend state. And then we have to open some angle brackets and insert my home page. Then we can open up another pair of curly brackets. And the next thing we have to do is create a value, which is gonna be of type int and we want this to be private to this class. So we're gonna type in underscore selected index, and that's going to be equal to zero. Then we need to create a static const, which is going to be a text style, and we will name it option style, which is going to be a text style with a font size of 30, and we want to give it a font weight of font weight bold. So it will be nice and thick text and add a semicolon. Then we will go ahead and create another static const, which is going to be a list of type widgets. And we're gonna call this widget options, which as we said earlier, it's a type of widget and it's going to be a list of several options. So the first thing we're gonna write in here is the text of home. So we just have to type in text and insert home. And we wanna give it the style that we created above, which is the option style. So we're gonna call it option style. And this will create the first page for our bottom navigation bar. So we just want to create three more, which of course are for the other elements. So just put a comma at the end and then copy this part and just continuously paste it like that. And then remember to change these accordingly. So the second one we want to be money. The third one we want to be friends. And the last one is going to be the settings page. And at the end of the list, you want to add a semicolon. And this comma should not be here, so we'll just remove that for now. Now below, we want to create a function called on item tapped. So it's going to be void on item tapped. And it's going to take an int and index. And then we need to call set state to make sure something happens. And we're gonna call selected index is going to be equal to the new index. Then we can go and hover over our my homepage state and create the one missing override, which will 
create the build widget and we can delete what's inside here because we need to replace that with a scaffold. So we're gonna type in return scaffold. And inside the scaffold, the first thing we want to specify is the app bar, which will have a title of constant text. And I'm just going to call it nav bar title. But you can put whatever you want. It will be the title that will appear at the top of your screen. And then below that, we have to go ahead and create the body, which we want everything to be centered. So we'll just create the center and we will place the child inside here. So just type in child and that's going to be equal to our widget options dot element at and it's going to be at the selected index. And then the final thing to do is to create the actual bottom navigation bar. So all you have to do is type in bottom navigation bar and then that's going to create a bottom navigation bar. Create a pair of parentheses and inside here we will type in first the type and we want to change this to a bottom navigation bar type of type fixed. And we need to specify this to have more than three items in the bottom navigation bar because the default one only allows you to have three. Now we're gonna call items, which is going to be a constant of bottom navigation bar item. And inside here, we can go ahead and type in bottom navigation bar item. And the first thing we want to specify is an icon. And of course, the first one we want is the home icon. So we'll just go ahead and type icon and icons dot home and you should see a small house appear next to the lines of code over here and we can also give it a label which will say home now you probably already guessed it but we have to do this three more times for the other icons so let's just copy this part right here and we'll paste it three more times for the second one we have money and we need to change this to attach money and then we need to go down and change this to friends, change this to people. And finally, we need to change the last one to settings. And of course, you can pick whatever icons you like. I just picked these ones for the tutorial. And you should have a nice preview on the left part right here in case you want to preview them. We want to also add a few parameters such as the current index is going to be the selected index and the selected item caller, of course. So we're going to type in selected item caller and I'm going to type in callers dot light blue. Then right below that, we can go unselected caller and that's going to be the callers dot black. And on tap, we want to change the screen. So we're going to call the function that does that, which is on item tapped. And also in case you want to change the background, it's very simple. All you have to do is create a new line and type in background caller and you can change the background color to whatever you want. And in case of doubt, try hitting Command P or Control P. It will give you all of the options of what you can do, such as unselected font size, selected font size, unselected icon theme, selected item color. It has so many possibilities you can do. It's very good for customizing, so just tap Control P or Command P to get some options. But I'm gonna leave it to what I did earlier because that's a lot easier. And finally, at the bottom, you'll see we have this error that is expecting us to add a semicolon. So make sure you do that. And we have one more error, which is I forgot to add a semicolon here. But after we've added all the semicolons that we need, go ahead and click on run. And finally, after an hour or two waiting for your app to compile, you should end up with a very nice bottom navigation bar, such as I have just created. And you can see this is the new app because I have a navbar title that is called navbar title. And when we click on these elements, everything will work as we want it to. So if we click on money, we will see money. If we click on settings, we will see the settings and so on. But uh, that's actually all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. If you have any other suggestions for tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. And with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. See you.